Is there a difference between uh, a chemical addiction versus a behavioral addiction, other than the way that it's acted out? Well, what's important is is that uh, that everybody understand it taps into the same parts of the brain. Mm -hmm. um, so it's the same reward centers, uses the same chemicals like dopamine, for example. If you, have, if you have a good meal, it raises your dopamine 50%. If you have sex, it raises it 100%. If you have, drink alcohol, it raises it 100%. You take methamphetamines, um, raises it 1,100%. So sometimes some things are too good. The brain can't, you can't be a recreational user of meth and not have a problem, see? And there are other things like that. So the first thing that you need to understand is it taps into the same parts of the brain. What makes it different, and especially with food and sex, they are different than everything, which is why in many of my patients will say heroin addicts, cocaine addicts will say by far sex was much more difficult than their cocaine or their heroin. And part of the reason is, first of all, the brain will categorize anything sexual, both men and women, 20% faster than anything else. We are wired to be sexual because it's about survival. Food is about survival. Food and sex are also sensate. In other words, um, we are the only country in the world that has a dessert cart. Interesting. And, yeah, and the reason we do is because the presentation and the smell is part of how you sell the food. Right. And the food industry has been very effective and marketing and building ways in which it gets people to buy food that's not good for people. So uh, the senses are very important and so a cocaine addict doesn't care how his cocaine is packaged. Right. Just wants the cocaine. But food and sex, presentation can mean a lot in terms of what does that mean to the person, how that person looks. Just think of words, Joe, that you can think of right now that would apply to both food and sex. Hunger. I Delicious. Mean, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Exactly. In other erotic. words, erotic. Yeah, yeah. Right. So you have. See how my brain just works like this, Pat? Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. But but the point is, is that they're 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 regarded as two of the toughest addictions because of how they're wired, and then they are intimately connected also with historically issues around trauma, sexual abuse. Uh, many people who are overweight have been sexually abused. It's a way to defend themselves sexually. Right. Um, sex addicts have been abused sexually. Fear is a big factor in all addictions. Every addiction has what we call a stress factor. Uh, uh, you, you really can't have an addiction without stress because of what it does to the brain.